Oh, <laughs> uh, unlike the last video, I know exactly how to start this video. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks so much. <laughs> what the heck has been going on the last few days? Uh, my first time on the trending tab. It was kind of cool, but at the same time, I feel real guilty about it. Like, like I said in the last video, there's so much more <laughs> important things happening in the world right now, and I, I feel bad. It's still on trending. I feel bad that I've taken up a spot on the trending tab for like the last 48 hours. I assumed this topic, this video would be pretty big news in my community for my active subscribers. I didn't know how many people would actually care. It was just something that I really wanted to talk about. And holy heck, if it didn't resonate with the world, <laughs> I don't understand. Well, I kind of do. I've been thinking about it, and I think a lot of it must stem just from general frustration with Nintendo as a company. Um, because I think every, <laughs> I think everyone has their own issues with Nintendo, and hearing them do something else kind of baffling is is always. Uh, drama that people like to uh, discuss but before before we get in because I have a few I want to touch on the last video and the response to it the response being overwhelmingly positive uh but there was a lot of things that I, I still I want to address uh that that came from that video blowing up but before that I want to say thank you like again just thank you so much for the overwhelmingly positive response that that video had. I mean, I was a little worried when Nintendo dropped me. I was like, man, is this gonna, I don't know, affect my standing at all on YouTube, I guess. But if anything, it really, like your support really went to show that end of the day, all I need is my content, myself, and all of you, and we'll be perfectly fine. So that was awesomely reassuring. Thank you so much. All right, let's get into the juice. <laughs> There was quite a fallout. I mean, you can't have a video sit on the trending tab for a couple of days without other people wanting to talk about it. I mean, the sheer amount of articles that were wrote it blew my mind, but the amount of videos people were making, like response videos, all of it super positive, which is is great to see. I tried really hard in my video not to burn any bridges, but I think all of y'all went and burnt those bridges for me. I haven't heard back from Nintendo. It has been a weekend. I highly doubt I will ever hear from them again, which sucks. Um, and again, a part of me was like, oh, should I have made this video? But again, just the, the overwhelming support told me that, yeah, it was it was a good idea to make the video. But yeah, uh, even though I said, don't, don't go screaming. I said it in the video. Don't go screaming on Twitter. Da, da, da. Uh, people did, and it sucks, uh, honestly. Like, I get that it was done with good intentions, but the amount of people tweeting Nintendo of America who had nothing to do with this decision and and saying that they effed up and, like, swearing at them, uh, I, d I was getting tagged and all that, and it was very heartbreaking for me to see because Nintendo won't like that, and it doesn't do me any favors. It doesn't get me back in the program. Uh, it pushes me further away. But I get that that, that was done um, with you guys having my back, so I appreciate the sentiment, but it doesn't help. Uh, but the the, the vi a lot of the videos I watched were very positive, and those, and those do help, and some of them had some really good insights. Others and most people seem to double down on that mod video. Initially, it didn't do very well at all. It barely got any views. In fact, it's doubled in views since my video and everyone's speculating about this being the video, it's gone up like twice as many views. So if Nintendo had been like, hey, we don't like that, not only would I have been fine never to do it again because I wasn't planning on doing it again anyway because I didn't think people were, were interested, but I would have even taken it down. And I said in my video, my last video, you know, I don't change who I am or shape who I am because of Nintendo, and that's true. I've never done that. I mean, if you look at some of my other videos, like my review of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, um, I didn't like it. And I said I didn't like it, and it's one of my most disliked videos. Like, I'm sure Nintendo didn't agree with me as much as everyone else didn't agree with me. Um, and that's fine. And Nintendo didn't care. I made a video about Nintendo's greedy decline with microtransactions, talking about how in their mobile apps, microtransactions have got more and more insufferable. And again, 
like a, a few days after that, Nintendo emailed me with a code for a game. Even if you go way back on my channel, I used to swear like a sailor on my channel. Like every third word was an F-bomb. And that was like two years into working with Nintendo. I've done a lot of questionable things, I guess, as a brand ambassador. <laughs> Maybe it all compiled. <laughs> Um, but no, clearly they were fine or they, they didn't say anything and they kept giving me game codes and kept working with me. And you know, the ambassador program has been through a couple of revisions and I've always been switched over to the new one, even, you know, through all that stuff I just talked about. And I also want to point out that, uh, once I made my video and it picked up a bunch of traction, there was one other, <laughs> no, two other people actually. Uh, Yoshilla was one. He got that same email I did on the same day. Um, the exact same email, and he didn't make a mod video. And I know there was one other person too, I'm sorry I can't remember their name, but they tweeted me uh, saying they got the same email. So that was three of us. Um, who knows if there was more? I don't know. Um, but I mean, clearly there was a changeover. We went from an old program to a new program, and Nintendo must have used it as a, a chance to uh, get rid of some creators they felt didn't fit the program anymore. So it wasn't just me, um, it was a few of us. And I honestly believe, especially with this being the case, with, with other people getting dropped the same day as me, that my mod video was just a coincidence. It just so happened to be one of my most recent uploads, and uh, that's what everyone got drawn to when I got dropped. Because I think at the point where I tweeted, it was like my last video or my second to last video. So it really seemed like I made that video and I was dropped. I think it was just really bad timing. At the end of the day, if it was the freaking mod video, then I, I'm fine. Because that's just, that's just a really petty thing to do. But I don't think that was the case. <laughs> um, a really great video, my, one of my closest friends, RGT85, asked me if he could touch on the topic because he used to be in the program himself. Not on his main channel, but he used to work for Nintendo Enthusiast and they're in the program. And I think he put it best and really touched on why this video of mine blew up and why people resonated with it so much. And it's just that Nintendo frustration. He talked about the frustration back when he was on the program because they supported him while the while the site and while he was a smaller creator. And then as he started to grow on, you know, the website and the platforms, Nintendo started to send less and less. And they would see he would see smaller channels or other people get review codes for things and he couldn't even get replies. And it's frustrating to not, to, to, to feel like you're doing something wrong and you don't know what it is. But from everyone I've seen talking about their experiences, it really seems like the larger your channel gets, uh, the less Nintendo supports. Another example is like a lot of small channels and there's a ton and they do really great work uh, talking about Nintendo things or gaming in general. But uh, like this channel, back in 2019, I'm not sure how many subs they were at at that point, but uh, Nintendo sent them this huge package of physical stuff. I haven't been sent anything physical for the Switch since the Switch has been out. They sent him a Switch console, they sent him a ton of stuff, and good for him, that's fantastic, and I think it's actually better, definitely a better idea, sending products and a console to smaller YouTubers, this way they have it in their hands and they can start reviewing things. I think it's better to do it that way, but pretty much every time you see anyone get sent anything from Nintendo, like a lot, and especially physical things, they're always these much smaller channels. Uh, another one is Nintendo Power Couple. Um, great channel, wonderful people. I don't think we've ever actually talked. Apparently I'm not even subscribed, <laughs> my bad. But they are wonderful people. And uh, they're on the ambassador program. But you know, if you go back in here, I'm pretty sure Nintendo sent them a Switch. I could be lying. Um, but I mean, look, they got sent to the VIP E3 Nintendo experience. Like they get backed by Nintendo a lot and they have uh, 7,000. And again, I, I think that's great. It, it's really great. But I think it goes to show that the larger your channel gets, the more I think Nintendo just expects you um, to provide yourself with things and to do your own thing. Um, now, in saying that, even with that being the case, most people remain on the program and don't get dropped. Um, but I think it does play into how frustrating it is being on the ambassador program, which, by the way, uh, never got paid for. A lot of people had a misconception that I was getting paid for that. 
I was not getting paid. Nintendo does not trust me. If any company does not need to pay people to make content about them, it's Nintendo. People are going to make that content regardless, and they know it. They they have never paid me for a freaking thing, and they will, never will. And I doubt they've ever paid any creator on their ambassador program for anything because they don't have to. And I didn't want to be paid. I was happy just being on the freaking program. <laughs> oh, and huge thank you. Uh, my Twitch blew up like several thousand new followers as well. Bunch of you came over on Twitter. Um, I uploaded a new video today and that's doing really well for my channel as well. So just a lot of love and support right now. And it, it feels really good. Uh, and I think... If anything, my video from today goes to show that, yeah, nothing's changing. That's the kind of content you can expect. Maybe with a little bit of added uh, flair of me jumping fully robed into a bath now. Because I can maybe have a little bit more fun with what I do. But I think it'll be interesting. Um, it feels weird because it feels like all of a sudden I'm like independent on my channel. Even though I already was. Like literally nothing has changed. But there's almost this feeling of like... There's no one watching over it now, waiting for that mistake or waiting for something to go wrong. It's just, here I am. I guess now it's just me battling YouTube like every other creator. So <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you for everything. Thanks for hearing, my, hearing me out in my last whopping 27 minute long video. And thanks for sitting through however long this one was. Just, just so much respect from me. I, I love you all so much. All right. Now, yeah, no more of this. Getting back into regular content. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> I said goodbye wrong. I messed up my goodbye. Goodbye.